What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this weekend's episode, I am going backpacking again and we're just going to do a short little 10.5 mile loop. It's called Buckeye Caney Creek Loop and it's in Nina, Arkansas. Um, from what I've seen, it's a beautiful trail. All Trails has it rated as hard because there's like 1,600 feet of elevation gain. But we're planning on knocking that out the first day, staying at this really awesome campsite, and then just hiking out on Sunday. So super excited for that. The weather is beautiful right now. It's like 70 degrees, and the weather looks really good for this weekend too. So I'm stoked about that. Um, I did get something in the mail today. Ta-da! I got a new tent. I'm so excited. This is the Tiger Wall UL2 by Big Agnes. Um, I went back and forth between this tent and the Z-Pax Duplex tent. And I ended up going with this one because it is a freestanding tent. So if I want to camp out on a rock or a hard surface, I don't have to worry about staking it down. But anyway, I'm super excited. This was kind of like the last big piece of gear other than my pack that I might upgrade before I do the Appalachian Trail. The tent I have right now, I love so much, but it's like five pounds and this one's like two. So this cuts two and some change off of my overall pack weight, which is pretty significant. So I'm really excited about that. I just got this, like I said, I just got this in the mail today. So I'm about to set it up and uh, yeah. So let's do that. All right, y'all, check this out. This is with no stakes. It's just freestanding. This is what it looks like on top. It took me less than five minutes to set this up. Very easy. These tent stakes are, or these tent poles are so light. And so is this tent. It's so pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna stake it down now. This tent is huge compared to my other tent. My Kelty is a one person tent, and this is, of course, a two person tent. I love how there's doors on either side too. I also really liked about this tent how if I want to keep the rain fly off, I can look at the stars all night. And with the duplex tent, you don't really have that option. Yeah, my old tent is a one person and my backpack and everything fits inside, but it's kind of tight. And I have so much room in this tent. I can put my backpack and everything. And that was another thing that I thought about when I bring this on trail, the Appalachian Trail. I want to keep everything in my tent and not just be crammed and cluttered. Because, you know, I'm going to live in this for six months. So, you know, I don't mind. I think the only, the difference between like the one person and the two person was just a matter of ounces, which some people argue that. You're going to want those extra few ounces when you're on trail hiking 2,000 miles. And y'all may be right, but I'm just going to figure that out for myself. This nice pocket right here. And there's one on the other side. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to put on the rain fly now and see what that's all about. Check it out. It's so nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Yep, I live here now. I think I need to get a footprint print for it because it is so thin, but I'm thinking about just getting a piece of Tyvek 
I'm so excited to use this this weekend. I might do like a more in-depth review on it once I use it a few times. So it never fails. I'm getting ready for a backpacking trip. My gear explodes everywhere and so does everything else in my life. All right, little pro tip for backpacking. I always have my big Ziploc bags that are full of my backpacking food that I keep in my cupboard. So I, when I go out to eat, I keep all these little things like this crushed red pepper. Uh, this is my condiments bag. So, you know, if I'm out to eat, I always grab a couple extra of these just to store away. I've got mayonnaise in here for my tuna, mustard, all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, and then every time I go backpacking, like this time was kind of last minute and I'm not gonna go to the store and like buy stuff. So I already have things ready to go. Save your condiments from restaurants and um, put some backpacking food aside so that you have it ready. Okay, I'm packing way too much food as always, but I'll show you guys what I'm bringing. I'm always super hungry, so. I'm bringing in apple because it's literally my favorite trail snack ever. I've got this wild caught pink salmon, 31 grams of protein, y'all. This is great. It's kind of heavy. I forgot I had this actually. I found a bag of food from when we hiked. Eagle Rock Loop. Oh my gosh, it just took me an entire minute to remember that trail name. It's 10 30. It's like two hours past my bedtime. But anyway, okay, so we're probably gonna stop for lunch on the way, but this is gonna be my dinner. Some good old fashioned ramen and some goldfish and my snacks. I've got like a little hydration pack, so I've got like some Gatorade and electrolytes and some Starburst. And then I also found these old Twizzlers from when we did Eagle Rock Loop. So um, other trail snacks, I have some dates, some nuts, and then this is going to be my breakfast in the morning. I have oatmeal with peanut butter and protein powder, some matcha, flaxseed, you know, all the toppings and whatnot, but I think that's all I'm going to bring because I could totally bring more, but I don't need to bring more because I don't need all that food. <laughs> all right wrapping this up for tonight good morning everybody i'm excited because i'm going backpacking i'm just getting breakfast ready right now got all my stuff together mackenzie's running to come and go and then she's gonna come pick me up and we are gonna head that way it takes about two hours and 45 minutes to get to mina from here so yeah um also update so a couple weekends ago when I hiked the North Sillimore Trail, my car's radiator broke in Mountain View and it sat up there for like a week. Um, but I think he's gonna get fixed this weekend and I'll still be working on my conversion. Uh, I think a video for that should be coming soon. I have a lot of footage of me putting in stuff and messing around with the headliner, but I kind of want something to be finished before I make a video I mean the insulation's finished but it's like it's not pretty I want the headliner to be finished anyway okay well I will see you guys on the road but check this out it's super foggy kind of chilly and we checked the radar and it might rain tomorrow morning definitely packing my rain gear um, but I am excited if it rains because then I get to test my tent out in the rain so I kind of hope it does rain. So what happens when you forget to put your laundry in the dryer? All right, we're on the road. I'm with my best backpacking buddy, Mackenzie. And we got Amelia back there. So these are two loops that go together that are gonna equal the 10.5 that we're doing. So, doing the Buckeye loop first and that goes all the way up a mountain so we've got like a 1400 foot elevation gain this morning 
we're mentally preparing ourselves for that. We're gonna get that out of the way first and just have like an easy hike out on Sunday. So, all right, well, I will see y'all at the trail. All right, we just stopped at this cute little gas station. It's the Athens gas station. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Anyway, I thought I'd bring y'all in here because it's really cute. Hey, Kelly, what kind of pie do you want? What kind do they have? I'm getting apple and chocolate. Mmm, do I want blueberry or strawberry? Get both. Get both. Oh my gosh, y'all, this fried pie is delicious. Those dudes are definitely like, what the heck? What's that chick doing? <laughs> because I twisted my ankle the very last mile of backpacking to Sillamore so swelled up pretty bad and I mean it was fine like after a week but wearing an ankle brace is precautionary all right we have started like Mackenzie said Amelia is ecstatic Mackenzie found some Hunter Orange at the Athens Country Store. And we are walking up this road for a mile, straight uphill. So, seen a lot of hunters. So I've got my bright green on my pack. All right, let's get started. We're both regretting eating those fried pies right about now. But we just finished the mile climb up the road. It wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Stop. Yeah, we didn't really even stop. An accomplishment for me. Yeah, good job, again. My pack feels so much lighter with this new backpack. Holy crap. Like, it's so much easier to hike. It really shed like three pounds off my base weight. So I'm super happy. I'm really excited. But. We are at the Buckhead, the Buckhead, the Buckeye Trailhead. This is what it looks like. There's parking here if you don't want to climb the road. And then I think we keep going up, right? Yeah, about another 1.2 up and then we start going down slowly. Okay, cool. So I don't know if we are actually going to hit 1400 feet of elevation gain. I turned my Fitbit on so it'll be interesting to see what it says. But anyway, we're gonna get some water and keep on going. All right, update. We're climbing. We got a pretty view. Got this beautiful green moss. The weather is perfect. Like it, I think it's more perfect than it was a couple weekends ago when we were hiking Sillamore. Mackenzie actually changed out of her pants and put on shorts. It's kind of crazy a week before Thanksgiving and it feels this nice. But anyway, this is what the trail looks like. It's really pretty. You got oh, look at those boulders up there. It's got the sun kind of peeking out. Oh, this is a good place for a picture. Oh, that's awesome. About two miles into the trail and at the top of Buckeye Mountain, there's a wonderful campsite overlooking the mountains in Canyon Creek Wilderness.
Yeah, me and Mackenzie were just saying we're pretty glad we came and did this trail when we did because the views are just incredible with all the leaves off the trees. Now granted, this would have been really pretty like three weeks ago with all the fall colors, but this is just like, ah, uh, look at that, a view on both sides. We're just at climbing at the very top of this mountain. I can't imagine what this trail would be like in the summer and spring. Probably be more of a bushwhack up here than anything. Okay, update, I think we have finished our climb. It really wasn't that bad. I think it's just because it's so pretty and the weather's so nice that a little a little climbing didn't even phase us. But we're just continuing along on this ridge. We've got really pretty views and the sun's shining. We've gone about, yeah, probably three miles now. So we're gonna try to do about eight. So we probably need to start well, it's only two o'clock, so it probably gets dark around five. So we got plenty of time. mountain right there. It's really pointy. It's cute. There's a walking stick on my leg.
Okay, so we're a mile three and a half or so, and there's so many cool campsites. I mean, look at this. You get camp right here, and you got this view. And Mackenzie's down here at the other camp spot. Perfectly flat ground. You got a view just up the way. Check this out. This is so nice. And it can fit a bunch of tents. This would be fun for like a group backpacking trip. Yeah. The trail's right, right there. So. so for those of you that are backpacking, planning on backpacking this trail, or even day hiking, just remember that there is no water up on the ridge. I mean, that's kind of obvious, so just plan accordingly. I have one smart water bottle and a Gatorade, but I probably could have, could have packed out another smart water bottle just to be safe. Oh, there's the Twin Peaks up close. Look at the mountain range back there. Who said Arkansas doesn't have mountains? It's so quiet here. I mean, really, the only thing you hear is the wind blowing. No cars, no people. We're trying to keep Amelia in between us and she keeps like no. trying to dart in front of me. No, stay back. <laughs> She's a sneaky little thing. Found a, another awesome campsite, but no water. What's in there? I don't know if y'all can see in the video, but there are some mushrooms in there. All right, I think we're almost to the campsite. So that's exciting. Yay. Okay, we've reached the intersection of the Buckeye Trailhead and the East Caney Creek Trailhead. So we're gonna go down here, if there's some campsites and see what we can find. Check this out, y'all. We got a chair, got a nice fire pit. This is beautiful. 
All right, we're about to get set up. All right, so right now I'm just exploring around the campsite, looking for some firewood. One thousand seven hundred and twelve feet of elevation gain. Dang. Yeah. No wonder I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I borrow your lighter? There you go. Can't wait to eat my pie. I know. That's a chair. Yeah. I gotta go. I literally packed a pot, pack of peanut butter tortilla. Three good to get squeezes. Normally, you're the one giving them to me. Uh -huh. Ooh, I love go go squeezes! Alright, before the sun goes down, this is my dinner. It's chili ramen with um, Parmesan cheese, cilantro, parsley, and crushed red peppers. We eating good tonight, honey. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. And I got the parsley and cilantro from the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shop local people. Alright y'all, after a few failed attempts, I finally made fire. All the wood and leaves and stuff here is kind of wet, but I used my homemade fire starter. It's such a good feeling when you can't make fire, you can't make fire, and then you finally make fire. Yes. It's like the most accomplished feeling ever. Gotta show y'all my tent. I got it set up over here, and I put my camp lights up so it's just glowing in the forest. It's so pretty. I'll show y'all the inside. Yay! I don't know how good you can see this on video, but... I am currently laying by the fire, looking at the moon and all the stars, laying on my back. It is a magical moment that I wanted to document. I also would like to document Mackenzie over here reading a finance book in the woods. <laughs> Me and Mackenzie have been watching the fire embers for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> I just moved them around. We're like, whoa. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm in my tent for the night. I'm about to close the video out for today. We've got about four and a half miles left tomorrow. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is a little after seven o'clock. And, um... It is raining, and I'm nice and dry in my tent, so I'm going to see if it stops raining before I try to get out, but I'm just kind of sitting, laying here and enjoying the rain and the peace, so anyway, 
I might be hiking in the rain today, which is... I like hiking in the rain, so it's fine. Alright, well I'm gonna lay here for a little bit longer, and then maybe, hopefully, cook some breakfast, or if it's still raining, I'll just eat my apple and some peanut butter or something, but... Alright, I'll check back in with you guys later. Mackenzie, are you up? Yeah. Okay. Are you out of your tent? No. Oh. Don't jump on me. You do not do that. <laughs> no. No! What? I almost spilled all the water I just spilled this. Good morning. Well, no oatmeal for me this morning. I'm just gonna do this apple and peanut butter. Hey! <laughs> She's like, I want some apple and peanut butter too. Okay, we're all packed up and about to start hiking. I don't know how much I'll video because it's raining, but uh, I mean, my GoPro is waterproof, but still. Um, there's a lot of leaves and it's really slippery, and I don't want to puts another ankle or die, so. So I love days like today, hiking in the cold, wet rain, because it's forcing myself to become comfortable with the uncomfortable. <clears throat> because there's gonna be many days like this on the Appalachian Trail, and there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta get up, pack your bag, and walk miles. <clears throat> it's really not that bad. It's kind of calming and peaceful when it's raining. So, anyway, I'm enjoying this day. Bluff is really pretty over the creek. Look at that. It's awesome. It goes all the way up. Oh, y'all, we are booking it today. So it's a super easy hike out today. We got the hard part out of the way yesterday, hiking up that mountain. But now it's mostly flat. 
think we have like a tiny climb at the end, but it's been super easy hiking so far. Okay, quick update. The rain has not let up at all. In fact, I think it's raining harder now. Look at that moth. I don't know if y'all can see it on this video, but he's white. I don't know what he's doing. It is so pretty up here. Wow. Just look at that mountain. It's so tall. It's majestic. Well, it's finally stopped raining. And we've got about a mile left to look up. Made it to the end, car's still there. We're all in one piece. So I'd say that was a success and a really freaking beautiful hike. Even in the rain, it was awesome. Okay, hold on, I gotta, one last creek crossing today. Now I'm officially done. Well, all right guys, I guess I'm gonna close it out here. Thank you again for coming along with me on this weekend's backpacking adventure. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the bell so you can be notified first when I post new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.